that camera, that camera, that camera. Hello, I'm Daryl Johnson, and today we will be talking about the Af. Mm -mm. <laughs> Hello, I'm Daryl Johnson, and today we'll be talking about the occupation of Alcatraz. Cheers, my friend. So there was a big fire that happened in 1969, and it burned down the American Indian Center in San Francisco. So there was a group of people called the Indians of all tribes, and they were like, man, we gotta find a new place to gather. We gotta be somewhere where we can be ourselves. So there was these three leaders, okay? Richard Oakes, Lenata Means, and Adam Fortunate Eagle. And they were like, wait, is this real? According to the Treaty of Fort Laramie in 1868, it says that Native Americans are allowed to confiscate abandoned federal land for their own use. Now, the famed Alcatraz prison's been sitting there empty for six years as federal surplus land, so booyah! We got our new location, The Rock. And they were like, well, let's just take this bitch. <laughs> so on November 20th, 1969, the coalition of like 89 members of the Indians of all tribes cruised across the San Francisco Bay and some fat cat land tycoon was over there like, hey man, I got these plans to develop this land into a Monte Carlo themed casino. And then, boom, Native American people get there. And they're like, man, get the f out of here with these dumb ass plans. <laughs> it's ours, baby. You stole it from us once, but we gonna steal it from your ass now. And they started spray painting stuff on the walls, like, welcome to Indian land. And like, red power. I like that one. And then Adam Fortunate Eagle is still on the mainland because he was the spokesperson for the tribe. He was like, look y'all, we taking this shit over, okay? Y'all ain't using it and we need it. All this belonged to us anyway, okay? And he said, look, we're not just gonna take it out, right? We're not terrible people. We'll give you $24 in glass beads and some red cloth. How about that? And you know why they gave him $24 in glass beads? Cause that's how much the Dutch merchants paid the Native Americans from Manhattan. Now, I'm someone who loves a person who keeps their petty game up, <laughs> but that petty level is on a thousand. <laughs> and all this information gets out, more and more people show up on the island. And by Thanksgiving day in 1969, 400 people are now occupying Alcatraz. How ironic is that? Thanksgiving. <laughs> so of the 50 people there representing Alcatraz, 40 of them were women. Well, now the means was like, you know why? Because they got a voice and we recognize that shit. Look, we got a clinic running. We got a kitchen. We got John Trudeau, the voice the Radio Free Alcatraz. And he'd be like, if you a Native American, you can come up here and be free and be yourself and celebrate your own culture and your pride. And she's like, we have set up a school. These kids are not learning from these white man history books. They're learning about their history. We did that, okay? I mean, they put middle fingers all up in the government. Rich Nixon like, ooh, is that a finger in my face? All I see is middle fingers up in this bitch. What's going on? Now, the white man don't like losing something that they stole anyway. Richard Nixon was like, we can't attack these Native American peoples. We've got so much going on with this country. We have the Civil War. No, not the Civil War. <laughs> civil rights protests. <laughs> we can't have another situation. That's just Tricky Dick trying to save himself. You know, he was already involved in a scandal and stuff was about to go down with him that he didn't even know about yet. But I do because ah! this is drunk history and all that's history and I knew it before he knew it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the alcohol target. And so the Coast Guard's like, yo, okay. Rich Nixon said we can't go in there and show no force. Great, all right, this is what we gonna do. We gonna take all their fresh water. We gonna take their electricity. They can't, <laughs> let me say that right. They gonna take their electricity. And they set a fire. I mean, they don't know who set the fire. But if I had to put my bets on it, I'd say the governor set the fire, okay? So in July of 1971, the Coast Guard laid siege to Alcatraz. They was like, okay, Native American peoples or whatever you call yourself, this land belongs, this land belongs to us, the white man. And the shit was over. After the almost two year occupation of Alcatraz, the 
fat cat was like, hey man, look, I don't think I want to build here no more. So the government turned it into a national park. Wow. And you can go there today and still see some of the graffiti on the walls. The Native Americans still come back twice a year to celebrate the occupation on what they now call on Thanksgiving's Day and that Christopher motherfucking Columbus Day that we now call Indigenous Peoples Day. Indigenous Peoples Day, y'all! Indigenous Peoples Day. It's like we took this shit, y'all, for almost two years. What did you do today? Checked your mail, ate some jello, bastards. How'd you know? 